hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Eminem, Mystical Mermaid, okay? I am doing our Daily Guidance Collective here. Um, I am using the Angel Answer Oracle Deck as well as Brittany's Third Eye Tarot, okay? Now, I have already done this and I tried to record it, but for some reason the sound was not working. I'm actually going to click on this and make sure, let me look on the audio. It shows that it's working, so I'm going to go with it, okay? Hopefully it is recording and you're hearing me. If not, I apologize. Um, that is why I've already got the cards down here and I'm going to talk to you about what I just did, okay, and what I just got. Now, I'm going to start with the tarot, and then we'll finish with the oracle, okay? What I got for what you guys need to know right now with the situation, okay, we had the Ten of Cups come out, as well as the Two of Pentacles, okay? This Ten of Cups is i always say it has a rainbow in it usually okay especially in the rider way okay this ten of cups even has this unconditional cup here this like the ace of cups okay when you're dealing with the ace of cups that is unconditional love that is that big cup that it's it's divinely guided okay it's coming from the clouds like by god's hand right it's it, it never runs out. It never, it, it just, no matter what, it's unconditional. Never goes dry. Well, like I said, we've got that sitting right here with that Ten of Cups here. Okay. God's promise of a happy outcome, a happy life, happy family, right? Then we've got these two folks here. Okay. So, as well as this Two of Pentacles. So, you may be deciding okay or juggling or something that will affect your heart your home okay now i had noticed when i was recording the first time it, it's well i'll i'll mention that when i get to that i had just looked down i noticed something with this card in a way I had never really noticed it. Okay. The two of pentacles is juggling. It, it's, it's as if you, you're, um, you're weighing out some options with something. Okay. So that's what the situation is going to be about. Well, then we get to what you need to embrace. Okay. Well, we get the lover's card and we get the moon. Now, usually the moon is about secrets and, and things like that, okay? But it also can be, excuse me, y'all, I'm so sorry. Um, let me make sure I didn't just pull off my, <laughs> my lashes here. <laughs> anyway, y'all, the moon is about fears in this situation, okay? Now, notice how... The lady here with this moon, it, it's almost as if she's sad, worried, contemplating, just a lot on their mind, right? Well, we get to this lovers, okay? Notice how, and I'm just seeing this, like, look at the path here. It's a pretty long path. So this may be something that, has been a going ongoing process okay a choice that's what the lovers is about it yes it can represent soulmate connections okay but not in this situation i feel like this is more about choices okay making that choice which one all right you got two paths here right okay so you need to embrace a choice you made This, you're worried about this choice that you made, okay? Because I feel like you're worried because it affects your home, your heart. You've made some sort of decision here, and and you're 
worried about it, okay? You need to embrace your decision, okay? On the bottom of the deck, it kept showing up my devil card. Let me show you guys. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, right there it is. I want you to look at this devil card. Do you see how this lady's looking in the mirror, but there's no reflection, right? Because, let me tell you, there's no reflection because it's either you're afraid to see or you're ashamed to see or scared. Um, why is it that you, you don't want to see yourself? You need to embrace it and see yourself, okay? What do you need to avoid? We have the Nine of Pentacles and my King of Wands. Okay. Well, this Nine of Pentacles is a single energy. Okay. This is my single card. But, you guys, you need, and then this could be you, you dealing with a fire sign. Okay. Aries, Sag, Leo. Um. I feel like here you need to avoid not being able to see. Okay. This is all about what you truly need to embrace. I feel like you are so fearful and worried on a decision you made that it's keeping you from seeing you, seeing yourself. Okay. You're, you're not seeing, okay? You're not seeing this abundance. You're seeing this other, this choice that you made. And you're afraid that you've made the wrong decision about something. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be about romantic situation. This doesn't have to be about love at all, okay? But what I do know is that this choice that you, you guys have been debating and worried about, I do know it's going to affect your heart, your home, the people in it, okay? Now, let's go back to this card. I had noticed as I set it down because on what's next, we have the Queen of Wands as well as the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is that aha moment, that epiphany, that truth that comes to light okay that darkness that comes to light that it, it just changes something changes okay because you realize something here i feel like well look here this is like confirmation to me when i look down and i've seen it in a way i've never really seen it before because i just seen two waves right i've seen these waves parted okay and of course, what am I going to reference that to? God parted, right? It, it's like God's making a way, okay? I, I feel like you don't need to worry about this choice you've made, okay? Whether it's got to do with work, and it very well could be because of all these pentacles here. But this could get, this is some sort of choice that really affected your heart, your home life. Okay, um, you need to trust yourself. All right. Also, if this is about a love situation or a family member or a person, okay, I want to show you. You're showing up as that queen of dingling here, that queen of wands. Then we've got the king of ding -a -ling, or the king of wands, right? Look at this, queen, king. It doesn't matter if it's the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles or the emperor or the empress, right? They're still counterparts, okay? This is your counterpart. This is the choice. If you have been worried about if you've made some sort of right decision, yes, you have. OK, if you if you've been worried about it and not sleeping well at night because of a decision that you've made. Look, as I look over to this deck of cards, look at this. 
two of wands oh my gosh even underneath that look at this queen of swords and i didn't even shuffle these they're literally just sitting here folks okay look at this you have made some sort of decision okay between a couple of options here you've weighed what did i say with this you've weighed out your options look you have looked out laid that plan out and made a decision of some sort you have cut something out that was not serving your life anymore with this queen of swords okay you look at this this is here is the six of wands this is victory okay this is victory you could have children involved look at this golly y'all the sun that happy outcome that bliss all right um don't get up in your head and and don't worry about maybe it's maybe i mentioned children because maybe you're wanting to make your kids happy what have i been preaching on this daily guidance make you happy make yourself a priority see yourself people see yourself if you're not oh i just got confirmation all over my body y'all see yourself okay now why was the cars down here for what you need to know now well the oracle card i got meditation brings answers now if you don't meditate that's fine meditation is prayer okay um pray ask god to reveal reveal whatever this is on your heart okay he will reveal to you that he's made a way he's cleared out a way it, I'm not saying it's not it's going to be rainbows and skittles. It may have challenges, but that's life in general, right, folks? Now, you remember how we've got the lovers and the moon here for what you need to embrace. You need to embrace that decision. Stop fearing it so much, right? Look at this. The oracle card we got, the situation will improve. Now, we have what you need to avoid. Why did we get these? Look at this. Because you're ready. You are ready. All right. And then on the um, bottom here, on what? where do you go from here? What's next? Okay. Well, it was that uh, the Ace of Swords. Remember? That clarity, that aha moment, and that Queen of Wands. Well, oh, it was these forgiveness. Okay, so whether that aha moment is you forgiving yourself or forgiving someone else, it's happening. And then look, peaceful resolution. And then on the bottom of the deck was if you believe. Okay, if you guys it's funny that i'm saying this because that was the last one if you believe if you guys want to see the video that has no sound on and actually see me shuffling and getting these exact cards i will send it to you i'm sure you'll take my word for it um but folks i i can't make this up okay this is um very clear to me y'all and i mentioned at the end of that video i'm seeing a community okay whether it's my community here with our mermaid squad or you know another spiritual community or any kind of community you need to get involved in maybe it's your hometown okay but you i feel like you put yourself in hermit mode and you're withdrawn from folks we need to get you out okay we need to get you being friendly with folks and, and talking to folks and uplifting yourself okay you don't want to be around negative nancy's okay if you're not getting support from your family and loved ones that's okay come here we'll give you support okay we'll uplift you um that brings me to my membership please if if you can afford 24.99 a month please join our membership we will have lives i know that the perk that's listed is just one live but um you get to ask me questions um and 
even if you come to one of my lives, it's seventeen dollars. So for just a couple dollars more, you you get all the extra perks and and the tea and the inside scoop on everything. So please um, think about becoming a member and being a part of our little community. Okay, folks, that's what I've got for you, y'all. I love you to death. I really, truly do. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you don't care, hit that thumbs up for me. Uh, the more thumbs I get, the more it's recommended to folks. Okay, y'all? Also, love one another. Be kind to one another. What do I say? Life's way too short to be bitter. Okay? Y'all, I'll see you next time. If you guys watch this and you want to go live, make sure you put that bell on because I'm fixing to go live very shortly. If you need me, right there's the information on how to get a reading. I love you each and every one. I'll see you next time.